Tell me about Tua. How important <laughs> of a season is it for Tua this year? I, you know, he's he's got such a bad rap in the in the public, and we were yeah. talking off air about this too because. So last week they had a two day mini camp. The mm-hmm. first day it was literally a monsoon, tropical storm. He threw five interceptions. National media picked it up and ran wild. Yeah. And the next day he throws two 50 yard touchdown passes plus four more touchdown passes with zero interceptions. Mm-hmm. And for an entire drill, the ball didn't hit the ground. And so mm-hmm. not picked up by national media. <laughs> but as a fan, I guess the same thing I did on Twitter. This is June. They're wearing shorts and t-shirts. It doesn't matter as much what he's doing right now, but I do. I think it's a big year for him. I, he wasn't healthy last year. Yeah. Uh, you see him this year. He's, he's a lot different, but the way the dolphins are set up. So they have San Francisco's first round pick next year. And then two years from now we have San Francisco's. We don't have our own first round pick next year. So we just have San Francisco's, but the following year we have two number ones again. Right. And so we have a tremendous amount of cap space open next year. I think if Tua does not play well, I can see us going back to our best friends, the Texans, and making a deal. Okay. Um, okay. Deshaun Watson wants out of there. Yep. Um, the Dolphins have a tremendous amount of cap space. They have, you know, three first round picks in the next two years. So you you put a couple of those together with Tua with something else maybe and and you can get a deal done. So I think this this year is big for Tua. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm a fan of his. I loved him coming out of college. Well and I think um the biggest thing that Tua and it's unfortunate of just the circumstances is you, so in in your division you have the Bills that are a powerhouse team. You have the Jets who are full on rebuilding and you have the Patriots who even though they were a banged up team and they lost a bunch of starters due to the pandemic, they still won seven games and, and they had some close games. So like they're a competitive team. They're not like a terrible team. So then you have the dolphins in there who you look at that division. And I just think that if there ever was a team that, you know, maybe that it's tough for them to compete for the division title, but they need to at least get in that wild card spot and, and make the playoffs win a playoff game. And uh, I think with Tua, like there were just times last year, he, he kind of noticeably looked like a rookie quarterback trying to figure out how, the speed of the NFL. Oh, um, yeah. But I, I, you know, by that same note, people forget players get better. Young players get better. And I believe Tua is a prime candidate, you know, now that he'll have a full off season, uh, you know, to take that next step forward. Well, I think we talked about this in the other video as well when doing the draft or the uh, year prediction for the Dolphins schedule. But you know, he didn't have an off season last year, so he was rehabbing. So he yeah. rehabbed all the way up until so this year he had an off season. He went to a, a trainer in Miami. He's trained. He's thrown to the wide receivers all off season, mm-hmm. which is you know, adding Jalen Waddle and Will Fuller. Yep. Is is big because they're speed guys. Absolutely, yeah. And so I think, I think there's no, there's no. I I don't think there's many excuses for him this year. There was, I I could give him a, a, a ton of excuses last year, right? Yeah. You had hip injury. You've got an offensive coordinator who built the system for Ryan Fitzpatrick. Well, they're two totally different quarterbacks, right? I mean, his wide receivers were hurt most of the year. Devonte Parker. Um, missed games and Gusecki missed games and Preston Williams was out right away. So he missed Mm -hmm. almost the whole year. There's lots, but this year they're healthy. They added two big time wide receivers in, well, definitely in Will Fuller. He's proven in the league that he can play and that he is a a touchdown guy. And then Jalen Waddle is just a pure speed guy. For sure. Monte Parker back. So yeah, so I, I definitely think this, this is a huge year for, for Tua. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know what? I, I'm here for it. The Dolphins are definitely a team I'm going to be paying attention to. And uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be really cool. But 